Hey guys, welcome back. So I am bringing to you my first installment of trade tips. Um, it's gonna be either like trade tip Tuesdays or trade tip Thursdays, whichever day they end up falling on. So this one's going to be a trade tip Thursday. Um, I really wanted to condense my videos, certain videos, to be a little shorter, definitely under five minutes. I would like to shoot for three minutes. Um, this video might be a little longer because I am explaining why I want to do this. Um, but yeah, the reason is because I want to condense the videos. Um, certain videos are definitely going to be longer because they are tutorials, they are talk-throughs or hauls or Q&As. Those tend to be pretty long, but I know sometimes you just can't watch that much or it gets pretty boring. I completely understand. There are some YouTubers that I watch that I won't watch their videos because it's really long. I'll just wait for a time that I can actually sit down and watch the whole thing because sometimes you just don't have half an hour to watch a video. Um, there are things to do. Um, so yeah, that is why I'm currently going to be starting this tray tip segment. So I figured I would start my first one with lip liners, um, the importance, how I use them, how to use them, um, in my opinion and yeah just give you a little background on lip liners and why I think they're good or bad so if you are interested in knowing a little bit more about how I use lip liners and what I use them for how I use them do I even use them do I like them um, then just keep watching okay so um, lip liners I think are very important in my opinion I really like how they help your lipstick your lip balm your lip gloss any lip product lip pencil lip crayon liquid lipstick whatever it may be it makes your lips look so much better because they look so formed um, your lines look really even um, there's not one side of your lip that looks bigger or smaller um, and you can also over dry your lips you can just do so much with the lip liner you can even fill your lip in completely with the lip liner and call it a day. Um, I think lip liners are just really ideal. They're super easy and you can buy them at the drugstore. The drugstore makes amazing lip liners. Jordana has some, Milani has some. Um, who else has lip liners that are really good? Um, LA Girl has them, like if you can find LA Girl at a store or if you buy them online, BH Cosmetics. I know City Color has some. Um, there's just so many online options and I've heard they're amazing. All I have are like Milani and Jordana. Oh, and NYX. Oh my gosh, how could I forget NYX? NYX has amazing lip liners and they're so inexpensive. Not only do lip liners serve as the purpose of being a lip liner, they also can be used as a lip product, like a lipstick. You can just completely fill your lips in and just use that color as a lipstick. No one will ever know. So those are some of the benefits I think for lip liners. I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration on how I personally use lip liners. So the way I use lip liner is just, I simply just follow the natural uh, lines of my lips. If ever I want to overline, I will just kind of overline on the bottom because this bottom lip kind of just falls down here. So it's not that hard to like overline and make that bottom lip look more fuller, more like droopy, how everyone wants that full lip look. So it's so easy to overline on the bottom. And for the top, it's really easy to just overline right in the center where your lips like curve. Just take any lip liner. This one that I'm using is Milani in Spice. It is an amazing lip liner. It is such a wonderful color. So the way I use lip liners is like so. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer. Um, I just like fill my lips. Oh, I line my lips from down here. And right down here is the area where I was talking about that it's easier to um, overline. Right here. I'm going right under the line of my lip. But it's not obvious. It just looks like that's my lip because of the way the lip lays. I find it easier also to like stretch out your lips to get like a nice even line and straight line along your lip line. Now for the lips as well. Just like that. These are the two areas 
if you were going to overline, I would just overline right up here. in a more dramatic way. That way it's not that obvious when you overline. So there you have it, that is my lip lines. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this to fill in my lips just to show you how a uh, multi-purpose a lip liner can be. And there you have it. You have yourself a very perfectly lined lips. I have overdrawn right at the bottom center of my lip, so my bottom lip looks a little bigger. And the top lip just looks nice and full because I have just created that definition and depth of my lip line. It doesn't get lost with a very light nude, making your lips look smaller, less defined. This way they're just bam, there. You can use lighter colors, darker colors, whatever color you want to use, but I just find the benefits of a lip liner to just be endless. They're amazing. I could not do any sort of lip product without a lip liner because it just makes your lips look so much better and it just makes all your makeup flow together and just be so nicely, evenly applied. So that was my trait tip of today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any suggestions of lip liners, go ahead and let me know. I love lip liners. I'm always buying lip liners. It's one of my favorite things and you can use it as a lipstick so i think that's super fun and super easy um so i hope you guys enjoy this and i will see you in my next video bye